Supriyo versus Union of India is an ongoing case in the Supreme Court where a five judge constitution bench headed by the chief is going into the legality of same sex marriage. The petitioners moved the court pleading for amendments to the Special Marriage Act and the Foreign Marriage Act which don't recognize a marriage as legal unless it's between a man and a woman. And unless the same-sex marriage is legally recognized, the married couple don't enjoy rights like adoption, guardianship, inheritance, etc. And therefore, they are basing their case on Article 14, Equality of Marriage, Article 19, Freedom of Expression, Article 21, right to life with dignity. 21, again, right to privacy and the liberty to marry the one uh, that you choose, etc. Now, there are questions raised about, isn't this subject to morality and decency as grounds for reasonable restrictions under 19? But the counterpoint is very clear. Where the sexual orientation is legal, how can there be indecency or immorality? Now, what are we talking about? We are talking about a series, series of judgments by the Supreme Court in recent years, which lead up to legal recognition for same-sex marriage. For example, NALSA, N-A-L-S-A, where there is legal recognition to the third gender. Nine, 2017, Swami, right to privacy, with which there is a link for marriage and sexuality. 2018, Navtek Johar, where decriminalization of homosexuality has happened. And we need to remember that we need to keep the link between sexuality and marriage open. And finally, Article 21 in the Shakti Vahini case of 2018, right to marry has been recognized as a fundamental right. Now, on what basis will the Supreme Court intervene? Supreme Court is a guardian of the Constitution. Constitutional morality expects the Supreme Court to expand the fundamental rights. Article 40, 141 says that Supreme Court can declare a law. Article 142 says that it can give any order to do complete justice. Article 32 makes it the authority to enforce and interpret the fundamental rights. Now, what is the case of the union government? Union government says that it is artificial, it is against nature, it puts unnecessary pressure on uh, the institution of marriage and family, it is the concern of the urban elites, etc. But is that real? We will know very soon when the Supreme Court delivers its verdict.